frankincense has been proven to be a psychoactive antidepressant. Steve McCamley of Collective Spark reports, well, we know this from the Old Testament, from the beginning. In the Exodus, we find that uh, uh, God told Moses to teach Aaron, who was the first high priest, how to use frankincense, incense, and running through the tribes of Israel, he was able to stop the plague that was devastating them. And because of the fact that frankincense symbolizes the Holy Spirit, but it also smells so beautiful. And uh, the uh, ancients used to use the oil of frankincense as a very strong medicine. It, it was even anti-carcinogenic, from what I have read. Now, we're talking about the Boswellia Sacra, the actual frankincense that the three wise men brought to uh, the baby Jesus as a present for his birth. One of the presents was a gold frankincense and myrrh. Now, that frankincense was Boswellia Sacra. And when you light it up, you feel your whole respiratory system cleaning up. Um, I had some, I ran out of it, and it's very expensive. Now, Kristen Coward, The Mind Unleashed, writes, Burning frankincense in the form of incense has been a big part of religious and other cultural ceremonies for millennium. The resin from the Boswellia tree, the Boswellia sacra, as I was telling you, is what the frankincense was, the, that specific frankincense that the wise man brought baby Jesus as a gift, very expensive. The Boswellia tree, also known as frankincense or obilanum, is believed to be an aroma that will help your soul reach spiritual exaltation. And it really does soothe you. I mean, it's besides the fact that it smells so good. Um, and it also gets into your, onto your skin, your hair. <laughs> you smell it for hours after that, if not days. Uh, now, frankincense resin is mentioned in many different ancient texts, including the Old and the New Testament, and is said to have mystical capabilities, a belief that has been carried forward to the spiritual practices of today. I, oh, as I'm saying this to you, I have to tell you what happened. Uh, oh, this was years ago in our little church of St. Sozon. That's the little church I keep mentioning and referring to at the end of every video that we help. Uh, there were two little girls. One of them was my little goddaughter. They were about 10, 11 years old. They were at Vespers in the church. It was summer, the doors were open, they came. And uh, it was at the time that the priest was offering incense to God. We offer incense to God. And um, as we said, it symbolizes the Holy Spirit. That's why the devil and people that are demon possessed just can't stand smelling incense. It drives them nuts. Uh, that's uh, when you see a person that uh, cannot smell incense and runs out of the church, that's a bad sign. That means uh, some entity, a negative entity is controlling them. Um, anyway, these two little girls started giggling and whispering to one another with tremendous enthusiasm to the point that they had to leave the church to talk to each other. They were so excited. And uh, when I asked them what happened, they said, uh, we saw angels formed by the incense. The incense had taken on forms of angels. Uh, and that, <laughs> that does happen sometimes. You know, it does happen. Uh, you see the billowing smoke and it... Um, there are spiritual uh, energies in the church and uh, anything can happen. All right. Uh, so uh, I told them after that to go and tell the priest, and they did, and he told them to remember that as a spiritual experience um, and to keep it in their hearts and uh, not to go and uh, uh, advertise it to everybody. It's, it's a personal spiritual experience. All right, that's what they said. With the, that's what uh, experience they had with the frankincense at the time of Vespers. Now, frankincense, as we said, Old and New Testament, and um, it's carried forward to spiritual practices today, and it will be in the future, hopefully. 
Now recently, a team of researchers from Johns Hopkins University and the Hebrew University in Jerusalem did a study to see what the effects were of this age-old practice, and they studied frankincense to determine what it has uh, as psychoactive effects. In order to conduct the study and observe the efforts, the effects of frankincense on the mind, the researchers administered a primary Boswellia resin incense in sun sol acetate to some mice. The team found that the incense sol acetate influences the areas of the brain which regulates emotions. Specifically, the incense activated the protein TRPV3, which is common in all mammal brains. This protein is essentially known to help play a role in our skin's perception of warmth. The effect on the mind, however, has a strong antidepressant and antioxidantic effect, which can leave you feeling open and relaxed. Frankincense helps your mind to rest and simply perceive the world around it. It may not be a coincidence at all that many religions and spiritual practices have you burn frankincense incense. This could help participants induce a sense of calm observation and reflect on life while being able to plan for the future much simpler and less stressful. And going to the ceremony with frankincense would generally help people feel calmer and happier. In the Middle East, during ancient times, Boswellia, Boswellia resin, I'm going to call it Boswellia sacra, was considered a precious commodity. It came from the sub-Saharan regions on caravans is still a major export in modern days. Ancient Greeks used the precious resin as an oblation to the ancient Egyptians. Frankincense was used to help people manifest the presence of various gods as a sign of gratification. In ancient Judea and modern times, they also used frankincense as a center for their ceremonies. And this resin, this incense is also used in many Christian churches as well. Of course it is. Uh, if you can use that. <laughs> it's very expensive, but it's worth it because I said, when you when you breathe in that smoke, uh, you burn it on a little charcoal, and when you breathe it in, you feel that you're, from your nose all the way down to your lungs, uh, it, it, even though you never had a cold, you don't, you weren't, you know, you were, you felt that you were in perfect health, you feel that you're being decongested, uh, as if you've been block, blocked and something has decongested your whole si your respiratory system. It's as if your lungs have opened up and breathing are breathing clean air, and that the gook that you had inside you is gone. Um, from what I had read a couple of years back, that's what the Boswellia sacra does to you when you're congested. It helps you decongest. It's the resin that has some kind of a medicinal uh, uh, advantage to it. And as we said, the oil of the Boswellia sacra was uh, anti-carcinogenic. And now going to this, back again to the um, article. In modern times, frankincense is not only recognized for its spiritual role, but as a practical form of treatment for people who suffer from depression and anxiety. According to the National Institutes of Health, major depression is the leading cause of disability in the U.S. for people between ages of 15 to 44, which ends up being around 15 million people. 3 million people in the U.S. has a dysthymic disorder, which is a less severe type of depression, and over 40 million people report suffering from some sort form of severe anxiety. Depression and anxiety are linked and often overlap in many cases, and in the end it all seems to come down to a battle over trying to return to a balanced state of mental peace. We need not jump straight to the side effect ridden drugs from the pharmaceutical companies which oftentimes cause the same problems they treat. Instead, we can turn to Mother Earth and try natural items such as frankincense, the best is, of course, what they brought our Lord Jesus Christ, Boswellia Sacra, and add other tools such as yoga, meditation, proper nutrition to our lives, and of course, prayer, our, um, our Christian prayer and uh, beautiful uh, prayers that we have if you know even our own words is what is uh, the best thing for Christ to receive proper nutrition in our lives help us return to the balanced state of health our sense of smell is strongly linked to the limbic system in the brain which is where 
We regulate motivation and emotion. Anxiety and depression affect almost 60 million people in the U.S. That's a lot, 60 million people. If used in moderation, inhaling diffused incense is a modern, moderate to low risk and may be well worth it in the, to those who suffer from their stressful conditions. You should always light it in your house. It also smell, it makes the house smell wonderful. Um, frankincense has been found to help our body in more ways than just mental health. It has also been shown to help a remedy for nausea, chest coughs, here we go, fever, hypertension, as well as a great way to keep harmful insects, such as mosquitoes, away. Oh, I didn't know that. So if you light it up, it keeps mosquitoes away. That's wonderful. So this is on Collective Spark by Kristen Cowart. Creative Commons from the Mind Unleashed, and it's on Collective Spark. And this image is from a couple of years back. It was the Saturday of Easter, a Resurrection Saturday. You can tell by the little leaves that there are, we have uh, sprinkled all over the floor. From joy, the priest comes out and throws little Daphne leaves on the floor. And here he's, uh, this is obviously in um, towards uh, the evening Vespers. And this is the censer with the incense that he um, offers to Christ. And of course, he comes towards the people. And uh, this is the way it's done in the Christian Orthodox Vespers and Holy Liturgy. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.